Hello everybody and welcome back to Mammoth Interactive Channel. Today we're going to talk about the newly released free Etsy stuff from Unreal Engine, this time about the Twin Motion stuff. But what is Twin Motion, you might ask? Well, it is their one of their newly acquired, I guess not new acquired, but one of their more recently acquired softwares for Unreal Engine, in which lets you take your uh, projects like your CAD or BIM files and pretty much make them into almost realistic settings straight up looks like something that actually is there and not just that but like you can make a completely populated area with people you can decide on what they're going to do where they go you can even customize them a little bit here and there basically you want to recreate your own realistic environment and if that's not enough for you you can even handle the vegetation all this is being done in real time just put your trees here and there you can configure them you can even put your lighting at night time you see right there you can see where the lighting is going and even small things like decals on the street if you want to decorate your streets and walls you can put them you can fix their scaling you can even rotate them a little bit it also comes with a pretty simple interface as you can see here how how to change the daylight you can try to change the seasons over here it's all pretty intuitive if you want to just change the weather you can do that too or maybe you want to see how the trees and fauna looks like when they grow during the time you do see a little bit of blur coming when they get a little bigger but it's not that noticeable and if you just want to see how the day looks like over time you can change that too from sunrise all the way to the nighttime some very impressive stuff more importantly you can use this as like a way of selling a story or even just an idea to investors like if you have an architectural idea of a project that you want to do you can just use this in unreal engine render it and then show it to your future investors so they can look like oh this looks pretty good and over here you have some more stuff that you can do with it like vr you can actually interact with your environment your hyper realistic environment and you don't want to do that you just want to see the place you got a panorama version which is basically like google maps everything looks like a static picture pretty much like how you see in all those architectural projects where people just want to show you an upcoming building and how it's going to look like in the future looks pretty impressive you can even just put it in a video right there and you can interact with your screen pretty much like vr except you have it on a video form in your phone pretty cool stuff finally it has a very seamless bridging into unreal engine you can see on the left is twin motion on the right is unreal engine Speaking of Unreal Engine, that is what we're going to talk about today as the newly released asset stuff that have been put here. All free, all this hyper realistic stuff. So let's go to the first one. This is Twin Motions Post Humans Winter Pack Number One Winter Theme High Resolution Static Characters. So over here, you get like a nice little gathering of them. Obviously, the more you try to make something look human and realistic, the more uncanny it's possibly going to look. You know, just have them in like a still picture. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Yeah, there's always gonna be like some some parts that are gonna look a little bit like bizarre, but they're getting they're getting close to it. They're getting close to it, and this is basically about thirty photorealistic characters already, and with five levels of details per character. That's pretty impressive. Number of unique meshes thirty. These characters are not rigged or animated. They are in static poses. Although I'm guessing if you wanted, you probably could rig them. It wouldn't be easy because they're not a T post but it's probably not impossible. And next one, actually, we should probably just go to the next uh, human pose. And yeah, you can probably see it has a, a another bit of uncanniness into it to picture uh, people's photos and put them in a 3D model. Sometimes I think maybe they're not supposed to be seen so up close, you know? It's obviously that, that uncanny valley that you're trying to avoid and it's, it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult when it comes to something that looks very, very human and extremely high quality. 40, 4096 by 496 pixels, wow. Around 40K triangles per character, oh my God. Uh, and these also still have their own level of detail. That's pretty cool. Okay, but now let's go to the stuff that won't look as uncanny because it's not human. It's just your typical objects that you can grab and stuff. Like your instruments right here. This is, pretty, this, this is actually really good because it straight up looks like it could be a real guitar. And you'll fully customize that piano. Looks really impressive. And I love the level of detail for all the knobs and buttons. That is actually pretty impressive. Even the the decal, I don't know, it might just be me. It looks like you could see where the the wear out is in some areas probably. Actually, I wonder if you can like customize these to make them look more worn out if you wanted to. That would be pretty cool. 
Oh, I like that glow. I like that shine on that uh, trumpet. That's actually really good. Okay, this is your musical pack one. 73 high resolution 3D models. Wow. Nine guitars, nine bass. What's a cajon? Let's see, level movement. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good. This is actually, yeah, this is like just a small, just a small taste of what could actually be there that we're not seeing. Like they're, they're really teasing you here and it's for free. You can like get it any moment you want now. And here is the Twin Motion High Tech Pack 1. Now this is, ooh, this is definitely good. Weirdly enough, I can, I don't know why, in my head, I'm picturing something like having like actually a more cartoony looking character and just have to make this photo realistic environment. How would that look like? Would it work? Would it not work? I'd look at all the stuff that you can have here. Like you got trap with cameras, you got those band TVs, you got your all a bunch of different towers, and keyboards, and you can just use them to put wherever you like. You can build your own environment, like these two images right here. That is honestly pretty impressive. Some impressive stuff being made here. And finally, we have the chairs and tables pack one. This is pretty straightforward. It just straight up looks like you would see something in a real life furniture store. Look at those chairs. I mean, obviously some of them maybe are a little too shiny, but uh, honestly, they just look really impressive. Wow. <laughs> oh, the tables. That is pretty cool. And Oh, look at that. They even have those special tables that can expand, so they include the entire mechanism. Now, I don't know if that means it's rigged. It's probably not, but maybe it's possible to, to rig them if you wanted to, to make that realistic... Uh, table expanding motion and let's see it takes 144 oh this has the most amount of uh, content in it and we are only seeing a little bit of it that is pretty crazy and probably the thing to take notice here is that all these are saying pack one so that means there could be more in the future or maybe there's already more but this is the free stuff basically that you could get but you know, it's right here. You can make all of your super realistic pictures and settings if you wanted to, make your super high realistic video games with those assets since it's compatible with the uh, Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, like just, you can go crazy with it. Uh, I'm sure everyone wants to see what other people can make with this. Okay, so this has been Mammoth Interactive talking about the newest release of the free asset of the Unreal Engine for Twin Motion. Hope you liked the video and please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.